So this is my take on vegan avocado. So I start by putting some grapeseed oil on the hot plate and I'm not going to just overcook or try not to overcook the tomatoes, but I'm going to just slice them by size. The tomatoes take the place of, of the shrimp. They offer a meaty texture that substitutes well for shrimp. I had this dish years ago at a restaurant on the way to Santa Barbara. It used to be a kind of big yellow house restaurant and they offered this, this dish as a salad. So here I'm making it into stuffed avocados. Now normally I use zucchini. I don't have zucchini and I tried this recipe before with some diced broccoli and it came out really well so I'm trying that again here. And I'm going to put also on the hot plate the tomatoes. Everything when you bite into it should be about the same texture and the same temperature. And that's what makes this dish very, very nice and palatable, easy to, to enjoy and digest. So the tomatoes are now going on the hot plate as well. This is completely and totally up to you. You can use zucchini as I do normally or broccoli or whatever vegetable you like and I'm just going to add some seasoning on top and I buy this seasoning combination at Sam's Club. You can buy Mrs. Dash. Again your favorite seasoning mixture works just fine and I need to chop up some dill and here I'm picking through getting the best pieces. This is a really fun dish. Actually it works really well if you put it with uh, some lettuce and croissant or you can use potato bread whatever your favorite bread is it makes a really good vegan salad as well dill is all nicely diced up I'm going to stir the broccoli and flip those tomatoes just to make sure they are not sticking to the pan I don't want the tomatoes to get mushy although they oftentimes do get a little bit mushy but I also don't want the, the fluid in the tomato so I want to make sure that that cooks up now also what gives it a great texture is green olives. So, and I like the flavor with the veganese, the dill, and the olives. It has really great punch and kick. I picked up a can of pitted green olives from Trader Joe's. I'm using half the can here. And there's another vegan enchilada dish, which I'm uploading next. And that's where I use the other half of the of the olive mixture. So just chop it up, not too finely, you just want to rough chop it, that nice texture into this dish. Okay, so that looks really good. And now I'm just grab a bowl, go through it one more time with my knife, make sure I got all the pieces, have some type of chop to it, and um, mix in the veganese with some red wine vinegar. You can use, again, you can make your own veganese, which I'll do in the future, and whatever vinegar you like, champagne, white wine vinegar. The red wine vinegar does not change the color of the uh, veganese, by the way. And that was approximately three and a half tablespoons of veganese, and it's going to be about one and a half uh, tablespoons of the red wine vinegar. That's a whole tomato and probably half the bag of the frozen broccoli. The broccoli I picked up for about a dollar at Ralph's. So you, the deal goes into the mixture first. I ran out of a large bowl, so everything will be mixed up in this one bowl. Also, you want to clean out the avocado and dice up that mixture as well. One thing about chopping dill is that you also want to make sure that you don't cut up the, the end of the stalks because it could be very woody. And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> I did that in error on this particular video, but normally I don't make that mistake. So here comes our main, uh, the main ingredient, the avocados. And I'm just gonna go ahead and slice them around. And I'm gonna go back and take the labels off and um, I just score it um, and go with the back side of my knife and I just take the meat of the avocado off with the back side of my knife. 
and then combine it with the mixture. And now that all the ingredients are mixed together, the broccoli, the avocado, the tomato, the olives, it's all mixed together in the bowl. And you just want to mix the ingredients thoroughly and put them back into the avocado shell. So pretty simple dish. Again, it's very versatile. Works great as a sandwich. Also, just by itself. And it's a good dish to impress someone with as well because it has plenty of flavor, very classy dish. And there we go, vegan stuffed avocados. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.